Hi everybody, I'm Dominic. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install a 240 volt outlet, better known as 220 volt. Now, first thing we want to do, we don't want to start running wire throughout the house or wherever it may be. We want to make sure our panel can take another another outlet and a 240 volt outlet, which is a, going to be a, a twin pole breaker, which is going to take up two spots. So let's get into this panel. Okay. Now let's look at our panel first before we take the cover off right here we have an empty spot that's good for 120 120 one maybe 120 and we have a couple spots down here this would be the area that i'm looking to put our new outlet now uh you know we have like a 220s here you can see this is a twin pole okay so that's grabbing both hots and i'll explain that in a minute so let's take this cover off and let's look to see if we actually can have the room here to put that outlet in All right. Remember, this video is an installation of a 240 volt outlet uh, that is also 20 amp without a return path slash neutral. So, but first, let's get into the panel so you better understand the panel. Now, if you're watching this video, you really don't know about panels. Okay, so let's just give a quick breakdown. Here are our two hots. See those two big gigantic black wires coming in? Those are our two hots. Each one is 120 volts. And this is our neutral uncovered aluminum wire. And they're gonna come down, come, comes down through our breaker, and it comes down to each buzz bar. Now, you got this one, you, know, you look at it, it's like, okay, it's going straight down. It actually, pretty, for a better choice of words, it doesn't go straight down. It goes down, it moves over, comes this way, comes this way, comes this way, comes that way, and, that, and then the same one, the same way with, with the other one. This long one here, see all our white wires? That's our neutral, and over here is all our ground, okay? So what we want to do is look down in here, and then you'll better understand what I'm talking about. This is the area that we want to install our new breaker. If you look right here, we have our one hot buzz bar comes down, and the other one, like I showed you before, which is kind of covered by these breakers. And you have these fins that come off that will alternate from one side to the other, like this and like that and like that. So not all your connections are done on one hot on one side. Now, if you look at our breaker, see how we, our connectors here that are gonna slide right on to those fins. So if you look, see how that's gonna line right up, which is gonna grab this one and that one, hence 240 volts. So uh, before we connect this, let me show you a little bit about breakers. Okay, now we're ready to move on to the breaker. Now, obviously you don't have a breaker. Best thing, if your panel is made by GE, get a GE breaker and make sure it's the correct one. If you look on the panel of, you know, the panel that we took off, it will tell you what, what breakers will work in that. Uh, if you still can't figure it out, your, your cover's all chewed up, just take a breaker out, bring it to the store, and tell them that what you're looking to do. Or you're looking for a 20 amp twin pole breaker uh, that's the same as this breaker, more or less, same coating that it works. Okay, so let's get going and in installing our breaker into the panel. So we're gonna install our breaker. Make sure the breaker is off. On the breakers, we have a little hook in here that's gonna connect right into this uh, strip right here. It's gonna lock in. So we're gonna go like this. You're gonna go gentle as that locks in. Feel that it's locked in, okay? Then you see that, it's like a little hinge. Now we're gonna push it in. Ba boom And that just slid right on top and is now connected. Okay, now I went ahead and turned my panel back on and I'm gonna turn the breaker that we just installed. And this is only for testing purposes. Remember, we're all hot here now. And if you are scared to be this close to a panel that's open and that's live. Honestly, you shouldn't be doing this. But what we want to do is test it before we go any further. We're going to grab our hot right now. So that's hot now and that's grab it from the top. And we're going to go to our neutral. And if you look at our voltmeter, we have 124 volts. Well, that's not what we're looking for, right? We're looking for 240 volts. That's fine. But let's test each one. Now I'll go to this one. Now we have 124 volts across. Now, I want to go to each hot. Now look at that. That's 246 volts. Certainly don't want to get shocked on that. That is what we were looking for. So now the rest of this, this whole installation, is going to go like a dream. So we know we have it at the panel. Let's turn our 
our breaker off and let's turn our main okay, off. Okay, now it's time to start running our wires. Now, the, for the, the purpose of this video, I'm just going to use a metal box. I'm going to put it right up on there. I don't think I need to show you how to screw a box to a wall. Now, if you're not really comfortable, you know, going into the panel, you know, that's fine. You can hire an electrician to go over your work and do your connections at the panel. And honestly, it's probably really recommended. Uh, this video is intended really to give you the whole idea how it works, you know, maybe save you a lot of money. Now, you're running a wire from here to there. If you were to do that yourself and then have an electrician do everything else, how much money do you think you really saved? Not much. But if you're running it, you know, across the room, through a basement, all that stuff, well, you know, a couple of little tips on how to run a wire, and you can certainly run the wire and save a lot of money. And electricians, yeah, they'd be like, yeah, no problem. Go ahead, run the wire. Okay, so I'm just going to throw this box on and then we'll get start running and get our wire from our breaker out of the panel. And we have all our knockouts here. Uh, we don't have many on the sides and, and this is great because this is where we're going. We're just going with a short wire from here to there. So to knock these out, you have to push on the inside. I just bang it there and there you got one there and take it out and there it is and we're going to do the same with this box now it's time for our wire we're going to come up through our first knockout here and this is again our 20 amp so we have our 12 wire i'm going to leave about this much might seem overkill at the moment because our breaker is right here and what we don't want to do is do something like that okay so let's get enough wire out like that get a little measurement with your finger slip over our non-metallic uh that's the wrong one okay see that slip it over and we're just going to tighten these screws down outside of the box just like this and w then we're going to install it so let me go ahead and do that and uh see when i'm done do -do 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 -do. slip our nut over it and being i got a little tricky stuff. okay now that our wire is installed, now quick look at it. I mean, it's not a big beefy six wire or anything. It's a 12 gauge wire. Got lots of 12 gauge wires in here for the kitchen, bathroom, whatever. But this one's going to be a 240 volt 20 amp. But how do we know that? By looking at it, we don't know anything. The electrical inspector doesn't know. And anybody coming in afterwards or even yourself uh, a week later, an hour later, whatever it may be, you may forget what you had intentions on doing. By code, by NEC code 200.7, is that by point of entry, both these spots here have to be identified. The black, we already know, is hot, but the white, that could be a neutral, be a neutral here. Well, we need to identify it. One way to identify it is using tape. Uh, you can use uh, red tape, black tape, you just can't use white or green tape. I could just identify the wire like that. And of course, this one here, you gotta just identify it, okay? So when we're looking at this wire, we know that it is intended to be hot. Voila. Code, and then we come back later, a year. Oh, it's hot, electrical inspector, Oh, okay, you did a good job. Now, let's connect these to our outlet. Okay, so now what do we connect? Do we connect the wires to the breaker first or to the outlet? All right, you pause. The outlet. Now, let's do the outlet first because we know that it's not live. What outlet are we going to use? This is a 20 amp single outlet. Look right there. 250 volts. Let's take a look at it. It's an outlet by itself. Look at that. That you're not going to plug 120 volt uh, into. That's 220 volt, 20 amp. You know that just by looking at it. So let's go and connect it. Oh, okay. Wait, wait. I've been asked this a million times. Our ground, right? Follow the ground. Look, all the metallic here, all out there to the screws. That's ground. But it doesn't tell me which one is which. You know why? Like I told you earlier, electricity is smart, but it does not know colors. It's both. 
Each one of these screws is going to represent each hot coming in. Remember I explained it to you earlier? So it doesn't matter where our white wire goes, our black wire, it doesn't matter, but it does matter that they are connected. Our wires are now connected to our outlet. You can see I got a black wire there, got a white wire there. Again, doesn't matter. Both hots connected to the proper spot and our ground. Now, being that this is a metallic box, uh, we had to ground it. So we put our grounding tail and the pigtail to the ground and just came off like that. Chances are you're not going to be doing it like that. But if you are, that's what it is. Again, this is dead. The other wire is not even connected. Now for the metal box, uh, we've got to go ahead and just put our cover on it. I'll go and uh, put this cover on it and um, meet you in the... Now that we have our outlet all wired installed and with the cover on it, now we want to go, we want first want to install our ground. We're going to be looking for a empty spot. We got one right there. Put a nice 90 degree bend in the wire. You know, it's important to keep everything nice and clean. Cut the wire, stick it in there, and we will uh, tighten that down. Then we'll move on to the uh, breaker. Now we have our ground wire together. Let's get our two hots. Now I'm going to explain. Our two hots are going to our new installed breaker. The is not a neutral and now what is a neutral a neutral is a return path we have it here but we don't have it here and that's what we want okay 20 amp 240 volt outlet but look how long our wire is so can we just go up with the wire turn cut the wire yeah we could but suppose later on uh we got to move things around for our other insulations and now we want to put this breaker over here and blah 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 <coughs> excuse me so this is what we're going to do nice and neat we're just going to fold the wire over like that we're going to come up to the breaker about like that you know we want to leave that extra wire it's going to be real real important it could be real important later on or never at all okay so what side of the breaker do i connect our white wire it doesn't matter stick it into the breaker now i'm gonna i'm gonna show you a close-up of this uh in a second let me go ahead and connect this now make sure your panel is off because you know breakers off if the breaker was on i mean i'm good because i'm holding rubber and plastic here but if i touch that metal that's it take all my hair out all right so let me go ahead and connect finish connecting these and i'll show you how we're actually connecting it what we're what i'm looking for you just can't see in the camera here so let me get a another breaker and let me show you what i was doing i'm putting the wire in the clamp here and tightening the screw as i'm holding the wire now if you look there's a little bit of bare wire coming out that's one thing you want to make sure that you have because if you don't have you know you could be clamping down on top of that insulation and it may or may not uh, make enough contact for it to last a little while. So that's what we're looking for. Nice and strong connection. That's what I was doing when you really couldn't see. Okay, I wouldn't turn the panel on without putting the cover on. It's, you know, I got to show you guys what I'm doing here. Now, I'm not a crazy fan of leaving a lot of extra wire. But I'm, let me tell you, I'd rather leave the extra wire than not leave it. Because, you know, you, you just don't know yet. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn the breaker on. Hey, no sparks, no fire. Okay, so now our wire is now hot. We both, on each wire, got 120 volts running to each, each side of our outlet. So let's go ahead and check our outlet. Let's first go to ground. Let's go. Boom, there, see that? We got 124 volts ground again can, can you, you get in it oh hello and to the other side we got 124 volts hmm let's go together that's what we're looking for look at that 245 volts that's what we're looking for <coughs> excuse me and this is why we call it a 240 volt outlet it's no longer 220 volt and it hasn't been 220 volts for a long 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 time anyway that's how you do it now we're going to put our cover on uh do our proper knockouts for the front cover there uh which i really can't show you because i don't have to do it on mine 
Anyway, any questions, comments, please leave them below. I answer all of them. Thanks for watching.